Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and Apple came out with a security update today, 15.3.2, which is really on the heels of 15.3.1, which just came out in February, around February 10th. So it's strange that Apple is putting these out, it seems, more often than usual. And it seems to have to do with WebKit. Maliciously crafted web content may be able to break out of web content sandbox. This is a supplementary fix for an attack that was blocked in iOS 17.2. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against specific targeted individuals on versions of iOS before iOS 17.2. An out-of-the-box write issue was addressed and improved checks to prevent unauthorized actions. Yikes, that sounds kind of scary. Somebody's messing with your Safari, and that means you definitely need to update your iOS devices as well. iOS 18.3.2 is available for update. I'm currently on 15.3.1, so I thought I'd update my Mac Mini Pro. As you know, I'm running my home folder, my user account on my external drive over here. That is where my user account is. Lance Mini, and it will be updating Mac OS on my Macintosh HD, which is still running on the internal drive. So let's just do the update, see how it goes. Some people have been saying, oh, if you put the home folder on an external drive, it messes with software updates. It does not. The system is on the internal drive. So there's nothing to really mess up there. You're updating your Mac OS. So we're going to click update now. And we're gonna download. You know, I'm gonna time and see how long this takes. I would put my timer on the screen, but obviously we're gonna have to reboot. It's a pretty small update, only 1.45 gigs. Okay, that was much quicker than 30 minutes. We're restarting. And I'm just gonna speed this way up. It took about five minutes for it to fully boot up, but it didn't do any reboots. It was just one boot process. And there was no firmware update, whereas 15.3.1 did have a firmware update for the Mac Mini. And once we're rebooted, the first thing we see, this virtual assistant is now easier to talk to. Just say, just gonna call her Eris so it won't trigger your phone. Yeah, we all know that Eris has been indefinitely postponed. And this does not bode well for Apple because they were promoting their AI functionalities as the new hotness for the new iPhone. And everything's gotten delayed, everything's wonky, it's just not working well. And Iris doesn't seem to be any smarter, she just talks faster. But there we are, we're updated to 15.3.2. That was really quick, took less than 10 minutes, maybe even less. Only one reboot and we're up to date and we're secure supposedly. All right, that's it. 15.3.2 went off without a hitch. You know, as far as security updates go, it's a good idea to do them. There's a reason why Apple put that out there. Security risk. If it was a full OS update, like a new OS, you always want to wait and see how it goes because the first version usually has a fair amount of bugs in it, as did Sequoia when it first came out. But now that we're in the throes of the end of Sequoia, you do want to update these security updates because it keeps your computer safer. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please give me that thumbs up. It helps out my channel and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.